My name is Jesse McWatters and I uh, lead fintech research at the World Economic Forum. Blockchain is a fantastically interesting technology, um, both sort of across a range of industries, but specifically within financial services. I think that's because financial services in a real way needs distributed data architecture, which is fundamentally how I look at, uh, at blockchain. Um, there are an enormous amount of use cases in um, financial services where you have multiple writers who have a shared data repository, who are heavily intermediated from one another, and where the trust between those parties is incomplete. They're simply not able to have full trust in one another. Uh, and traditionally, that's meant that you need a, uh, a trusted third party to maintain that record. And there's been an extensive amount of work that's needed to be done in order to maintain a common book of record, uh, a single source of truth, if you will, across the many uh, institutions uh, participating in any given financial market. Blockchain presents the opportunity to revolutionize that process, to radically improve its efficiency, uh, to improve its security, uh, reducing counterparty risk, to increase uh, capital efficiency and expand liquidity, and to eliminate fraud. It also, I think, has the potential to help us build a more open and more stable financial system. It has the potential to increase transparency in the market, and it also has the potential to give regulators new rules that could even help us to prevent systemic crises in the future. Blockchain's exciting, and there's a lot of people looking at it today, but there's a temptation to when you start thinking about blockchain to delve immediately into the technology. Uh, and from a business perspective, uh, I think this may not always be the best way of going about it. When we built out uh, our recent report, The Future of Financial Infrastructure, we took the perspective of problems in businesses. We looked at things as uh, diverse as trade finance, cocoa bonds, proxy voting, global payments, and we asked ourselves, what does the current process look like and where are there pain points along that process? And then we looked at each and every one of those pain points and we started to imagine how blockchain technology in its most generic form could potentially help to fix those problems. 